Welcome to the August 15th edition of the Sideline View, and we're at the uh, Lucas Oil Nationals at Brainerd International Raceway. Our special guest today is uh, funny car driver Tim Wilkerson. Tim, thanks so much for joining us. I know you've had a long uh, road trip and stuff to get here, but uh, appreciate you joining us. Well, appreciate you having me. It's, uh, it's an honor. Thank you. What kind of, I know uh, right now you're eighth in, in points, and uh, just what kind of a season? I know you've had uh, one runner-up finish. You've been to the semifinals five times. Just, uh, you know, what kind of a season uh, do you think that you've had so far? Well, I mean, I'll give us a C-plus, but not as good as we'd like to have, of course. Uh, been over uh, over a year since we won a race, and that's not good. I'm usually pretty good at uh, when I make it to the finals, winning the race, and I boo-fooed that at Houston, and then last weekend I had a little hiccup in, at Seattle when I red lit, so... We're trying to put all that behind us. Uh, we have a rule in the pit area that after 24 hours, we're over it. So we're going to try to get get that get by them problems and hopefully go to the uh, go to the winter circle here at Brainerd. We have a new sponsor here. Uh, the Circle K uh, has actually been on the car for the first time this weekend, so we're excited about that. You know, you've been coming here for a long time. How do you like this track compared to a lot of some of the other places that you visit? Well, you know, you just have to enjoy the area first off. It's so beautiful up here and. And the weather looks like it's going to be nice, so uh, the fans, uh, we ought to have plenty of fans out here. Sunny and 80, I don't know how we can complain about that in the, uh, the middle of August. And so but we really always enjoy this area up here. It's a lot of, lot of trees make for a lot of power, and uh, hopefully we'll get some good racing in too. Tim, l last year uh, a lot of the track records fell last year because of the weather. It was, it was kind of cooler yesterday, last year, and, and this year it, kind of the same thing. What do you expect as far as uh, you know, records breaking and maybe some times? Well, I don't really know that you, uh, with the sun shining on the track, last year we had some record-breaking times because the sun went down okay. after we had a little bit of a rain. Um, but uh, the NHRA is doing a ter terrific job prepping these tracks now, and that's really made a big difference in the ETs you've been seeing. So uh, this track is fairly smooth. It's got a couple little dips in it here and there, but nothing that should upset the cars. So um, with middle 80 temperatures, probably going to have with sun on the track some 110 to 115 degree track temps and I don't know that you'll uh, you'll see anything uh, any records fall like we did last year but it ought to be stupendous side by side event really should be you know like like you guys mentioned you, you are in eighth spot and, and it just seems like uh, you know there's so many quality drivers in this class what's it going to take to to clinch that spot heading into the countdown <laughs> well we're you know we're we're as close to 11th as we are to as we are to sixth, so we need to, we just need to have a good weekend. All there is to it, um, you know, we have a couple guys behind us. We need to just keep behind us, and hopefully, with any luck, they will be. Um, but you know, the goal is now just to let's just go out and do what we're good at, and that's making our car run good and qualify well. And uh, you know, if we can go two, three rounds here, win the race, maybe uh, it would just be an icing on the cake. And there's still one. Uh, one spot left in the tracks a shootout, so we're excited about that. Um, so uh, it's a pretty simple goal, really, right? <laughs> Win the race will take care of all these problems. It'll it'll solidify us into the top ten, put us in the tracks a shootout, and uh, put some money in our pocket. Well, obviously, easier said than done, right? Oh well, I hope not. <laughs> I'm, I'm I want you to take this to every funny car pit area and play that so they understand the there's a schedule you know there's a role for all of them to play the, the, this they, week's tim's week yeah they can they can decide when they want to lose it doesn't matter to me so tim what, what's it like being on the road you know like eight to nine months a year like this i mean i i can't imagine you know how is that for you know family life and you know just what what's that kind of like for people to, to figure out well we, we're, i'm very fortunate that i have a wife that enjoys drag racing and uh, otherwise there's no way we could do this and uh, we, we about 10 or 12 years ago she came to me and she said you know why don't we just go race and you enjoy it i enjoy it we had five or six gas stations at that time and uh, really it was a it was a godsend to be careful with you but uh, it, it does get old tra traveling you know everybody thinks that uh, when you you know you get to see everything in the world when you're traveling but uh, we, we come here for one reason we don't come here to chase girls or get drunk or do anything we come here to whoop somebody's butt and take the trophy and the money home that's what we come here for so uh, with that being said you can you can you can understand my mindset I'm very serious about racing and that's that's one reason we come we want to thank Tim so much for joining us it's been a blast and uh, we want to wish you the best this weekend hopefully we'll see you in the winter circle on Sunday that would be terrific yep we'll have that interview <laughs> that'd be great thanks Tim thank you